Shalom. In our new walk with the Creator, what's our new jobs? What's our new responsibilities? We have so many legitimate divine titles. Disciples of Moses, disciples of Yeshua, sons of God, daughters of God, servants, grafted in Israel, messianics, or Hebrew roots. But we have to come to truth with ourselves. We have to openly admit, after waking up to some truth and leaving our religion and our personal ways and starting our new walk with the Creator, we're just trying to do our best by obeying the Torah and Yeshua the best we can with the information we have. But at the end of the day, we still don't know our primary divine title, so we actually know our biblical job. So in our new walk with the Creator, we will know our primary divine title, so we will know what to do. Now that we know our primary divine title as Aaron Priest and King David of all tribes of Israel, we can now start our primary biblical job. Exodus 19, 5, 6 and Revelation 1, 5, 6 are our two witnesses for truth to know our primary divine title. Sadly, in all Christianity and most Messianic and Hebrew roots, they still teach that Jesus died for your sins and you're saved by faith and you're under grace and it's good to keep the Torah, but the Torah doesn't save you. When the grace that you're under should inspire the believer to take the words of Moses, the prophets, and all the Bible and Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, Yeshua's words seriously because you're under blood. This is an adversary religion terror doctrine that makes the believer, Jew and Gentile, skip over Yeshua's ministry and start their faith at Yeshua's death, burial, and resurrection. That makes the saved by faith, born again Christian only puts their new faith and grace in the book of Romans and Galatians. Then they jump at the end of the book of Revelation. They read only one verse, knowing that they win in the end and they're saved with Christ. But to those who takes the Bible, the words of Moses and the words of Yeshua seriously, you now know your primary divine title so you could do your biblical job. The fairy tale of Jesus dying for your sins that Christianity, Messianic Judaism and Hebrew roots still teaches. But this theology makes no sense because none of us was here 2000 years ago. This is just another replacement theology that people teach. Yeshua came the first time as the atonement sin offering for the broken blood covenant at Mount Sinai with the golden calf. And by the shed of his blameless blood, he can now renew the broken covenant and anoint us all who diligently obey him and made us all Aaron priests and King David of all Israel. If we diligently do our jobs as priests and kings in our lives, we will reign as priests and kings with Yeshua during his millennial reign. And Yeshua will put you in charge of 10 cities because Yeshua cannot run the planet by himself. The creator holds his kings and his priests to the highest standard of behavior and obedience to the Torah. Remember, if an Israelite sins against the Creator or their neighbor, God will punish that Israelite for that sin. However, if a priest and king sins against the Creator or the neighbor, the priest will suffer a greater punishment than the adverse Israelite. Exodus 19, 5, 6 and Revelation 1, 5, 6 are our two witnesses for truth to know our primary divine title.